السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وقفا وسلام علیہ عباد الزین اصطفا اما بعد فعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا یوہ الدین آ منو توب الاللہ توبت النسوحا سبحان رب رب العزت اما یصفون وسلام علی المرسلین الحمد للہ رب العالمین اللہ مسلی علیہ سیدنا محمد علیہ اول سیدنا محمد مبارک وسلم مائی ریسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز وی اسٹارٹڈ ایوری ڈے دس پروگرام ٹو براڈ کاسٹ سو وی شوڈ ریمبر اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اسپیشلی ان دس پینڈامک سچویشن آف ہیونگ سو مینی پیپل سک ڈیوز ڈیورنگ دیز ڈیز اینڈ دین ایٹ دی سیم ٹائم many of us is right now uh, passing we do funeral business and uh, services we are providing in new york as so far we have uh, three coronavirus uh, um, diseased uh, we are giving services to them so this is a uh, one service uh, in the uh, new york you can imagine how other areas must be uh, having all this situation so uh, at this time everyone is getting panic and definitely we need to have a peace in our mind and also peace in our heart you know and this is only possible that we should have contact with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spiritually you know in our heart we should have a remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that can give us peace in our uh, mind and heart so that's why it was very important to have this program uh, available to everyone when everyone together they repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seek forgiveness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mercy pay attention so please uh, uh, you should inform uh, as many your friends and families so they can also join and they can have a repentance together uh, with us inshallah the repentance is uh, for seeking forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so why we are seeking forgiveness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are creation and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a creator he created mankind for a purpose and the purpose is to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is our contract as a believer ya ayuhal ladina amanu wa amilu salihat in quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned that we have to have a faith on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then at the same time we need to have a good amal you know but what happened we made this Uh, commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu but we forgot uh, that uh, we are not obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we start doing what we like to do and at the same time is a part of our kalima ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu that we have a faith on our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is the messenger as from adam al-islam to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there are approximately 124000 messengers you know everyone gave this message that we should have um, faith on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and none is worthy for worship beside allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but what happened we started uh, following our own desires you know we following our own desires when we follow our own desires obviously we are breaking the promise with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are displeasing allah and rasul allah because these days we are not following the sunnah of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the same time so this is a reminder time we need to uh, really uh, think about because unfairness uh, what is unfair when you are doing Uh, you know something against the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if a person start uh, following his nafs his desires you know this is unfair 
uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person start doing bid'at and a person start doing the shirk, this is unfair with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be very careful. According to the kalima, la ilaha illallah, we need to be fearful and faithful in our all ibadat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And similarly, if we are not following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa this is also unfair uh, with our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And at the same time, you know, we are also committed uh, that, uh, you know, we have to be, um, you know, uh, with uh, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faithful. We have to be also sincere with them. We cannot be unsincerity to the makhluk, you know, because they all are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we uh, do backbiting, when we hurt others' feelings, this is also unfair with the makhluk. And when, whenever we do such things, that means this is a committing a sinful act. And whenever we do sinful act, there is also effect of uh, um, this sin in our on our uh, soul and our soul getting damaged gradually and it is uh, gradually getting uh, darkened and darkened and eventually it becomes hardened and hardened and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala getting angry with these people and when Allah get angry then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seal those hearts when Allah seal these hearts then a person cannot uh, perceive he cannot understand he don't have wisdom he lose the the ability to differentiate between right and wrong. So this is something uh, I started my lectures with the repentance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will be inshallah uh, having these lectures every day, nine o'clock Eastern time. And uh, the reason because we like everybody all over from the country or all over from the world, they can join this uh, uh, dua that we're going to be making the prayers together and we will have, uh, inshallah, in this uh, uh, everyday few uh, minutes uh, uh, talk, but more time we like to spend uh, for zikr, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking for the uh, help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for the givenness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something we're going to be doing, inshallah, every day. Mankind usually think our sins are very minor sins, very small sins, nothing, you know, I am not doing anything. Other people are doing, uh, you know, bigger sins and, uh, you know, gunah kabira, the, the major sins. But actually, when a person is doing again and again sin, this is count as a major sin, you know, in Islam because he's a repeat repetition. And at the same time, we should never think about any sin is small because we are disobeying Creator Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. How come a minor sin can be a very big? That's why intentionally, knowingly. You know, a person, when he is repeatedly doing sins, then gradually it becomes a major sin in his life. So that's why uh, there is also saying, La sagheerata ma'al israri wa la kabirata ma'al istaghfari. You know, whenever uh, there is a sin, even it's a minor sin, if a person is doing israr, that means the person is repeatedly, repeatedly doing this mistake, it becomes a major sin. When a person is doing uh, a major sin and he is doing istighfar, he repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he forgive him, he delete this sin, so that sin it can never become major. So we have to understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَتَحْسَبُونَهُ هَيِّنًا وَهُوَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ عَظِيمٌ That you are thinking the sin is small, but it is not small. It is a very big thing that a person is doing in his life. So that's why we all are gathering and we all are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness. Especially in this time when everyone is panicked, we really don't know how many of us will leave us and uh, what going to happen after that? How many people will lose their economy? How many people are going to get affected? And already, how many people are already uh, affected? Many people are in the hospital right now with the coronavirus. People wants to go to the emergency rooms. They are having difficulty even to get the proper treatment. You know, the doctors are also 
and only available on telemedicine you cannot even contact them uh, directly and that's also a frustration for every patient especially when he is worried about uh, coronavirus kind of things so my friend that's the only thing left behind that we have to uh, also ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if allah can send this uh, uh, musiba this problem allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us the relief from this musiba we can also you know protect us from this difficult things and inshallah we will continue having uh, this uh, uh, talks every day nine o'clock sharp please mention to your friends and families to join into our uh, this program and have zikr and meditation muraqaba and then after this inshallah we will have collective dua and allah forgive everyone and allah protect everyone